For a very long time, we were putting all efforts possible to bring uh, to the world, to the local communities, to the government, to everybody, the importance of good indoor air quality. And I must say that before the pandemic, it was really difficult to attract anybody's attention to this. So now, the fact that there is the World Ventilation Day is quite amazing. issues are very similar, whether it's in Australia, whether it's in Europe, whether it's in the United States, uh, it's very, uh, they are very similar. Um, in sort of very brief, uh, we have uh, issues with uh, buildings which are naturally ventilated, which means they don't have mechanical ventilation. And these buildings would be great, uh, potentially, if the windows uh, were able to be opened all the time. But if it's too cold, too hot, too noisy, uh, too uh, unsafe, windows are closed and there's no ventilation. So this is uh, naturally ventilated and then mechanically ventilated buildings. Many of these buildings, they have no issues, but many of them still have issues of all kinds of uh, nature. And the problem is that there's no monitoring of indoor air quality. So no one checks, no one knows whether there are problems or not. Buy yourself a CO2 meter and measure CO2 concentration wherever you are. This is the best you can do and this will tell you basically immediately is there a problem or not. It may not tell you what the nature of the problem is or what to do with in this particular situation, but it will in increase your awareness of indoor air quality.